Hello guys and welcome to another video. So as you can see today I'm in a different location because the setup was already set up so I didn't feel like going somewhere else and today we're playing a Percy Jackson pause game I believe. It's a bit like a wheel chooses my life videos but this time I don't have to think of the prompts and I don't have to think of the characters. So each time we get a different prompt and I think like a couple of images I pick an image and then we see who is behind that image and all will be revealed at the end. So let's see what life I have in the Percy Jackson universe. Let's go. The rules are to choose a picture and get the result. It's as simple as that. Great. Your cabin. Ooh, this is very important prompt. Let's pause it. I can basically tell what most of them are going to show me. I mean, one is obviously Apollo and the other ones are like chiller. Are they in order of what you're gonna get? Okay, I'm just gonna choose the bottom left one because it seems like the most chill. The other ones are very, very intimidating. They're basically mansions. I'm gonna get like Demeter. It's someone with fairy lights. Cabin 9 Hephaestus? I would have never called that. But, oh, Hera was one of the options. How does that happen? Okay, so I'm a child of Hephaestus. Hopefully I have fire powers. I think this is choose your best friend. Oh my God, I have no clue what the bottom left one is. So I'm going to go with waffles because they're not as common here in Spain as pancakes. So waffles it is with blueberries and maple syrup. I said it! I almost picked Percy! And my other choices were like Nico. They're all good choices. So NFF is my best friend, your quest partners, one to two. It makes sense, wait, let me talk. It makes sense for Annabeth to be best friends with the child of Hephaestus because I think children of Hephaestus and children of Athena would merge really well. Quest partners, I can choose up to two because obviously you would want to be three. First one is given Jason, second one is giving Percy, third one, I don't know who I would put in like a desert, maybe Nico, something that has to do with death. And then we have nature. What kind of characters do you think are including in this? Like every single Rick Riordan or just Percy Jackson? I like the balance in the lower middle one. So I'm going to pick that one and ooh, bottom left. Okay, those two are my quest partners. Let's see who they are. Annabeth and Nico. Okay. Oh, I could have gotten two for one if I picked the, <laughs> the Stoll brothers. But this is great. We have Annabeth, the brains, and Nico, the brawn, and the gay. So we're very well balanced. Yay. And I get to go with my best friend. I'd love to see that. This quest is for the girls and the gays. Your weapon. Oh, and I have to choose like this. Well, oh my god. Okay. So I have to say that it's either the hedgehog or the turtle. Because look at that turtle going like that. It's so funny. I also have to say that the ones on the left are not real animals, right? They're like plushies. They look kind of scary. So I'm gonna have to go with the turtle because he's living his life and it looks like he's having a lot of fun. A hedgehog is also calling to me. A sword? Wait. So both of the ones... Oh, it's a dagger. It looks like a sword in her hand because you can't see the end of it. But in the shadow, you can see that it ends. So it's a dagger. So Annabeth and I are both going to be using daggers. But at least we have Nico with a long sword. I should have gone with a hedgehog, a dagger. I like long swords so much better. Your enemy, if I get Annabeth again, and I have to choose a hair color. Okay, my mind, the first thing that popped into it was the pink hair because it's the only non-natural one. So I'm sorry, we're going with the pink haired enemy. <gasps> Talia is the one I like the best. Out of all of these, I could have chosen Hera, I could have chosen the Calypso, I wouldn't have minded. Oh no, Talia, I get it now. Okay, I get, I get why we're enemies. It's because my best friend is Annabeth, her best friend, so she feels threatened by me coming into the scene and becoming BFFs with Nico and Annabeth. And I can understand that and I hope it can be an enemies to lovers plotline for us because I really don't want to hate you and I really don't want you to hate me. You're Talia, I'm Celia. People pronounce our name the same. Next prompt is your fatal flaw. <laughs> I don't have one. And my fatal flaw is going to be a dress. So the one that is calling to me the least is the girl with like the yellow. So I'm gonna choose that one because I'm not supposed to like a fatal flaw. So that's what I'm going with. Let's see, I hope it's excessive pride. Power. Whoa. Hmm. 
please explain to me how power is a fatal flaw because excessive loyalty and a holding a grudge, obviously, and too much pride, I can see that. I'm too powerful and that's my fatal flaw. Have we seen this before? Who is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be Talia because there's like lightning come on out of their hands? I don't know. But it's good to know that as a child of Hef, it's good to know that as a child of Hef, it's good to know that as a child of Hephaestus, I'm very powerful. So I'm like the greatest mechanic of my generation and I'm basically the human torch. Next round, your boyfriend. Okay, so this is assuming a lot right now. The one I like the most, I think it's the top right corner, but it's all water. So I love all of them. The one with the wave is also very cool. All good options. Goddamn. If you choose the one with the wave, do you just, are you just in a polyamorous relationship with two brothers? That's kind of weird, kind of messed up. Honestly, I have to say I got the worst one. Tyson, I love him, but he has a child's brain. So I'm sorry, this is not canon for me. Tyson is not my boyfriend. He is a boy who is my friend. Okay, if this makes sense because I'm a child of Hephaestus and he likes to work in the forges, so we bond over that. But I'm sorry, I'm breaking canon. He is not my boyfriend. He has a five years old brain. So not for me. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. Your girlfriend, oh great. <laughs> So let's not choose Tyson for a boyfriend. This is my biggest choice to date. The chocolate chip cookies are just calling to me, the normal ones. So I'm gonna choose that one. I'm gonna be super duper basic, but honestly, it's the one that I would pick if I saw them. Annabeth is my girlfriend. Wow. Okay, now we get why Talia hates me because I broke Persebeth apart. Annabeth is my girlfriend. Tyson, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to let you go, drop you like it's hot. Moving on to the next prompt. I didn't get Percy as an enemy because he wasn't an option, but your capture the flag cabin teams. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting these two pictures to pop out at all. Is that Link from Legend of Zelda and Mario from you know where? Uh, both are very intriguing. I want to choose both of them, but the Link one is just, if it's not Link, please let me know. But it's giving, so I'm gonna go with that one. Let's see. So Hephaestus, which makes sense. Ares, Demeter, and Athena? No, that's not Athena. Who's that? Is that Hera with, with the nose? Artemis can't be it either, and it's not Aphrodite. But Athena's on the other side. Does this person know that Hera and Artemis don't have descendants? I mean, it makes sense that I'm in with Hephaestus. So this is canon. It sucks that I have to fight against Annabeth, but it can also be kind of hot. What is my item? Okay, and I have to choose a flower. All of these are pretty. The one that's calling me is the bottom right. The one at the bottom left is giving Olivia Rodrigo vibes. My, <laughs> I saw the picture and I was like, yeah, my item is Annabeth. And the picture on the left is also Annabeth. I recognize that fan art is like the Dallas's um, laptop, but I get the New York Yankees invisibility cap. My life is very intertwined with Annabeth. Did I steal it from her? This feels kind of wrong. Or since she's my girlfriend, do we, do we share it? Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And that super cute fan art, which I'm guessing is from Varia. It, it screams Varia to me. Okay, so that was a Percy Jackson pause game. It was a lot of fun. And actually my life made a lot of sense by the end of it. So please leave a like if you like this video. Comment down below who you got and if you like the life that you got and if it actually makes any sense because sometimes mine actually end up making like a weird kind of sense all throughout. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button so you get notifications every time I post a new video. I post videos just like this every single Friday and I guess I'll see you guys next time.